Hi, Jeff Watts again here, and I'm back with Milestone Card Explainer video number three. So I'm gonna get my cards, here they are, and uh, give them a bit of a shuffle. Blah! Going all over the place, and what have we got here? Okay, today we beat our personal best. We love competing with ourselves and setting new standards. We never would have believed it, and I've got the hashtag of raise the bar. So, why is beating our personal best a milestone in a team's growth towards team mastery? Well, all of the great teams that I've seen and been part of are quite competitive. And that's not just sports teams. Uh, but competition has upsides and downsides. And I've very rarely seen a team within an organization that can look at another team in the organization and realistically compare and compete against them. Because they're doing different things. They have different skill sets, different domains, different problems. Uh, and so actually comparing them, and I, you've heard the stories of teams comparing velocity against each other, it always ends in, in a disaster. So the best teams don't really compare themselves to their colleagues or even to teams in other organisations because there are too many variables outside of their scope of control. But they can still be competitive because they compete against themselves. So they're constantly resetting the bar of their own high standards. And that's a great habit to get into. Competi I have seen some healthy inter-organisational competition where team A sees team B doing something better and they think, okay, then now we can improve and we can raise the bar. And that, that sort of internal competition does help raise the overall levels. I have seen that. I've seen more dysfunctional behaviours as a result of internal competition, but it can be possible. Competition also has uh, some other downsides if it's tied to rewards. Uh, now, I, I tell the story of Sergei Bubka, the, the, the world record pole vaulter, who got an incentive, a, a financial bonus from his sponsor every time he broke the world record. And so he was only ever really incentivized to break the world record by a little bit so that he could get another bonus the next time he broke it. And that was, that's dysfunctional behavior, right? that's gaming the system. And great teams don't want rewards for beating their personal best because the reward is the intrinsic feeling of satisfaction and, and completion that they get by doing it. So, what can you do? Well, the first thing I'd recommend you to do is find out what's important to you as a team. Find out what drives you as a team, what you want to get better at as a team, and then gather some data about it. Get benchmark where you are right now, whether it's bugs in production, whether it's uh, response times, Whatever it is, find some data about it so you know what you're starting from. Then set yourself a target, set yourself a goal to get better. You don't have to get 10% better or 20% better or 10 seconds quicker, just get better. Then celebrate when you get there uh, and go again. Now there are a few things that you can do to help you along the way. If you make your targets visible, you're more likely to want to stick to them and to beat them. So make them publicly visible, tell people what you're doing, verbalize what you're doing, tell someone that you care about that you're going for this target. Again, it will increase your sense of attachment and sense of wanting to make it happen. And visualize having made it. You know, sports stars do this all the time. They visualize the success. So they know what they're gonna do. They know that feeling, they're attached to that successful outcome. Give it a go and see if it helps your team go from good to great.